dad kicks out son for being gay, allegedly. I don't know. Let's check it out right now. House, you just saying get out, Daddy, but y'all ain't even telling me a real reason. I get up every morning, I go to work. I pay my half the bills. Every month I give you, I go half with you on the bills. Everything paid. What's the reason? You Look at this. I, I come home and you packing my stuff for what? Yeah, you going you through my drawers, you in my room. What are you doing? You tell me why. What are you doing? What, 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 what do you mean what I'm doing? What you mean? Why are you recording? Because I want the people to see how I'm being treated. You're treat you not telling me the you reason. Treating this family. You're not telling me the reason, though. You, you, can't be, you can't be ready to tell me. You can't be ready to tell me the reason though. Tell me the reason why you put me out. You keep saying the company I keep. Yeah. I got the same two friends yeah. I've been having. Yeah, but they're running through my house. You, you're coming in. What's the eating, reason the though? Night, What's the reason? Don't care about it. Is it because I'm not a basketball player? Down. Is it because I'm not a football player, Daddy? I didn't make you proud. Like, come on. Yeah, you're like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at this. You're, you're look how you're treating me though. You're talking about under my roof. You're a disgrace what, to the family. You're disrespectful what you mean? to me. What you mean? You're not what I what, what I've been raising, what I used to be raising. You're a whole nother person. What are you talking about? Oh, it's all it's the surprise. It's the you don't have to touch yeah, my stuff. I'm, you, don't I'm very to touch my stuff. you don't have to touch my stuff. You ain't even telling me the reason though. I want you to be real. You, you say you're, you're a man, be real and tell me why you put me out. I do I I you go half with you on the bills. I go half with you on the bills. What's the reason? I need you out of here. You're not telling me the reason. Get out of here, man. What's the reason, though? Or, or is there a ride? Is there a lift? Is there a I'm not going nowhere till you tell me a valid reason. Why you I'm going to make a call. You don't, you don't have to keep touching my stuff. You don't have to keep touching my stuff. And we are going to break this down, okay? Now, this is a sticky situation. Uh, I have no issue with LGBTQ or anything like that. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. As we look at this guy here, uh, he got a full beer. And we're just gonna put it like that, right? He pays half of the rent, boom. That's one thing. He's been living there for over seven days, boom. He's technically a resident. Obviously, he's been living there. He's been paying half of the rent, this, that, and third. Father or not, I don't care who it is in the house telling you that you have to leave. You don't have to do nothing. They could pack up your stuff all they want to. They could call the police. They could do whatever they want to do. But at the end of the day, and you might want to check the state that you live in, but I know as far as where I live at, in my state, you can't just get kicked out. If you've been living there for over seven days, you are a resident, they literally have to evict you. They have to serve you papers and evict you out of the premises. I see a person here, right, that has a full beard. I mean, look, I mean, look at me. Shoot, I, I ain't even got no beard. But back to it. He has a full beard, and he looks like he's around at least 25, 30. He's definitely over the age of 18, so he's legally grown. Okay, now I don't condone people kicking their kids out soon as they turn 18 just because legally they're grown because they're not mentally uh, grown for the streets. But in this situation right here, unfortunately, this is the father's house. Obviously, he's kicking the son out. So, you know, when you're living in someone's house, you have to live within that realm you have to live within their rules you can't just live the life that you want to live because you are still living under somebody else's roof knowing that he's paying rent he should have some type of leniency on how he can move within that house because he pays a portion of the rent so therefore you know i should be able to come in the house whenever i want to i mean you are my father and i respect you but at the same time i'm paying rent therefore i should be able to treat this like my house because it is my house even though i'm just meeting you halfway with the bills and in this particular situation, that's exactly what's going on. Uh, unfortunately, I feel as though the father did kick out the son because of the way that he moved socially because he's gay. I do think that was the main reason why 
he he was in the process of getting kicked out. I don't know if he really got kicked out or not. You know, maybe they could have had a conversation and talked it out and, you know, squashed it. At the end of the video, the father said, hey, you're not the son that I raised. You change. You're a disgrace to the family. So with those key points that he stated, I'm understanding, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to grasp that he's upset that he's more so living a lifestyle that he doesn't agree with. I understand that parents should love their kids unconditionally, and I, I do believe that for sure. One thing I do want to embark on, though, is when you're living in someone's house, you have to live by their rules. And whatever rules are set forth, they should be followed. And I'm, I'm not saying they have to be followed by the T or whatever the case may be. But as long as you want to stay under their roof, you have guidelines that you have to abide by. And... Um, I don't know if they came up with a contract or whatever the case may be, but me personally, like if someone was to move in with me and it happened to me before, you know, somebody moved in and I gave them a deadline. I gave them a contract. I was like, hey, you know, you can stay here for a month. If I fall off and I need some help, I would want somebody to extend that hand, right? But one thing I would say is, yes, I would extend the hand, but there are rules around it, though. You know what I'm saying? You my friend. But hey, when I'm going to work, you know I'm I'm going to work. And I'm, I'm going to work to get these bills paid. Or I'm doing something. I'm going out here to get this money to get these bills paid. So I expect you to at least do the same thing if you don't have a job at least fill out applications there are boundaries there are things that you are not allowed to do in my house unfortunately and i'm not old but there are certain requirements because you're not going to be at my house past that deadline so i'm gonna give you one month and if you don't have your stuff together within that month, then you know you might want to have to you might have to call somebody else because I mean you my friend I love you, but at the end of the day it's like hey, you're not about to be sucking up my resources and my money. I'm paying these bills with my hard earned funds. It just doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, in this situation, like I said, I feel like uh, the father kicked him out because of you know because the way he move around and yeah the company he keeps i mean that's just his point of view and unfortunately that's his house let me know what y'all think about this video i know it was kind of touchy at the end of the day live your life if it's conflicting with somebody listen just move out just just move out just just do the best thing for you and your mental health I know when I was living with my pops, we did we definitely didn't see eye to eye. I mean, but I was young and dumb, and uh, you know, I moved out. I mean, that that's just all it was. I moved out. I moved out at a young age, and uh, I don't, you know, I don't regret it whatsoever. But I did understand the reasoning behind what he did. I mean, I'm living in his house. It's his rules. You know what I'm saying? If he said I had to come home at a certain time and I didn't come, you know, I'm disrespecting his house. I understand that. I understand it. So with that being said, hey, when you have your own house, you can live by your own rules. You can do whatever you would like to do. Whose roof are you under? Because if you was under your own roof, this whole situation wouldn't even happen whatsoever so with that being said y'all if y'all got anything y'all want me to react to go ahead and dm it to me send it to my tiktok or my instagram i'm waiting on y'all i'll holler at y'all on the next one